Thomas Jones was a British painter who was born in minus 57,438. He is best known as a landscape painter who worked during the Romanticism art movement. Jones was influenced by Richard Wilson and was a pupil of his. Jones specialized in painting landscapes and his works were characterized by their unconventional styles which broke with the classical landscape painting convention. Many of his works were not originally intended for exhibition but became famous in the 20th century. Notable among them is a series of views of Naples which he painted from 1782 to 1783. By using direct observation in his works, he can be considered to have foreshadowed the work of Camille Corot and the Barbizon School in the 19th century. Jones' autobiography, Memoirs of Thomas Jones of Penkerick, was unpublished until 1951 but is now considered to be an important source of information on the 18th century art world. Jones was associated with a circle of fellow painters, but his friends and co-workers are not widely known. Additionally, Jones did not belong to a specific painting school but is recognized as an important figure in the Romanticism movement. Thomas Jones was born in Trefonin in Sefnlis, Radnorshire, and spent his formative years at his father's estate in Penserig near Bilth Wells. He was educated at Christ College, Brecon and later went to Oxford to study at Jesus College. However, after his uncle's death in 1761, Jones dropped out of Oxford to pursue his preferred career as an artist. He then moved to London and enrolled at William Shipley's Drawing School in November 1761. Jones began to exhibit at the Society of Artists from 1765 onwards and the 1770s were a successful period for him. He was elected a Fellow of the Society of Artists and even served as the director in 1773-4. Jones's trip to Italy in September 1776 was highly anticipated by many and he did not disappoint. His works produced their departed significantly from the example of his master, particularly in his watercolor paintings, where he developed a distinctive palette of varying shades of blue. Jacob Moore, John Robert Cousins and Thomas Banks were among the fellow expatriate artists with whom Jones was friendly at the time. Jones's first commission in Italy was a landscape entitled Lake Albano, sunset for the Earl Bishop of Derry, who became Jones's most important patron. His unconventional habit of producing small landscape sketches in oils on paper for his own amusement also began during this period. Despite the success and recognition that Jones achieved, he continued to be innovative and experimental. He often adapted the grand manner in his works, and his frequent collaborator on these works was John Hamilton Mortimer, who painted the figures. One of his best-known works from that period is The Bard, Cardiff, based on the poem by Thomas Gray. Jones continued perfecting his style until his death in April 29, 1803, in Penserig. He left a mark on British art with his distinctive palette, innovative techniques, and unconventional habit of producing small landscape sketches. In conclusion, Thomas Jones was an influential British painter who was known for his unconventional landscape paintings during the Romanticism art movement. He broke with the classical tradition and was influenced by Richard Wilson, which can be seen in his distinctive palette. Jones was not associated with any specific painting school but was recognized as an important figure in the Romanticism movement. His autobiography provides valuable insights into the 18th century art world. Jones continued to be innovative and experimental throughout his career, working with John Hamilton Mortimer to produce grand manor works such as The Bard. Despite his significant contributions to British art, many of his works were not originally intended for exhibit and only gained fame in the 20th century. His legacy lives on through his distinctive style and small landscape sketches.